So we're ready to go. We're all ready. Thank you. Board goes set. Thank you. Um, thank you for the opportunity to make submissions on behalf of the Bonfire Beach Rate Payers Associations. Uh, my name is Donald Nelson. I'm the chairperson. And I have a committee member with me, Colin, who's um, here to just, just to keep me honest. <laughs> um, we are members of an organisation which since 1967 has been uh, an active community body. Um, yeah. We only had five minutes, so we're restricting it to basically four four points. We, and, we, and we're timing it. <laughs> Good. I'm pleased about that. Um, but you can read the other stuff in the records. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Firstly, the first point that we would like to make is, is around the process. Um, the, la the last reserve management plan was established in 2008. Um, and large sections of those plans have not been implemented. Um, in addition, TCDC and the community have been through a very long and involved process, include, uh, including multiple public meetings, two draft plans, submissions, a survey, all to develop a, a plan for Marite Tai Reserve, only for it not to be implemented. So we've done an awful lot of effort on planning, we haven't done perhaps quite such a good job on implementation. And our plea would be not putting too much more effort into, into planning and, and project management and, and those sorts of focuses uh, would be our plea. Um, moving on to specific reserves. Um, the main reserve, Manete Tahi Reserve, is in the centre of the village. And at the moment, it's a mess. Um, however we got there, it's not really relevant. It just needs to be fixed. Um, the association strongly recommends that the Mary Tahi upgrade be restored to the Capital Works Program and the agreed plan implemented. If this is not possible through constraints or whatever, as a as a second and much less preferred option, the very least a significant work program is needed to integrate the new toilet and its tanks into the reserve. At the moment, the, the, the top of the septic tanks are visible, there's, there's dirt around, there's no grass. It's, um, the old toilet, I understand, has now been removed, but that'll be a big hole, which will need to be fixed as well. Um, any program on this reserve will inevitably involve the monarchs. And as council is aware, the monarchs are a controversial. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> and they generate very strong opinions, both for and against. Mm. But the association believes very strongly that the fours greatly outnumber the against. For and against. Before the, the monks and mate. <laughs> or retaining. <laughs> or retaining. Yes. Um, the vast majority of the community want the monarchs to stay, and I'll give four pieces of evidence to support this group. And the interesting thing is, you guys have paid for three of these pieces of evidence. Um, in 2013, TCDC commissioned a quite thick report on, on the monarchs. It had five options. Of, what, of various outcomes, the most popular option was for the monarchs to stay where they are. In 2016, our, the association hired a professional market researcher to survey the whole community, and I presented to them. But the outcome, just to refresh your mind, was 95% of the people wanted the monarchs to stay, and 5% wanted them removed. In 2009, as part of the public consultation, I had a, sorry, 2019, sorry, thank you, 2019, uh, as part of the consultation uh, for, to develop the plan, a public meeting was, was held on site, um, and there was a show of hands. 51 voted for the bollocks to stay, three voted for the bollocks to go. In 2019, your survey on the plan overall um, 
again, which which was part of the development of the of the plan for part of the, the development for the plan for the development, <laughs> um, only five percent voted for the relocation of the monarchs. The monarchs are strongly supported by the community and have generally worked well. Okay, there's some problems this year, but generally they have worked well. The association acknowledges the legal issues and would actively support either a change in the reserve purpose statement, which would clarify the monarch's legal position, or a small extension of the adjoining road reserve, literally about two or three metres. The, the road reserve runs down the, the road or the, or the, the driveway of the, of the monarchs, so they just need to go that way another couple of metres. And that's my lecture on the monarchs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to bring it up again. I wish uh, we could just leave them there. The third point I want to make... Seeing you've spent so much time on the monarchs, I'll allow you in for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the third point um, I want to talk to is the uh, Hikimara Reserve, uh, Esplanade Reserve, which we see as a triumph for local passion being supported by TCDC grants. Um, with native plantings and bridges and pathways, it's an extraordinary example of what half a dozen passionate people can achieve over many years, decades in some cases, with support, support from you guys. Um, and if you haven't had a look at that reserve, it's, it's worth a little meander. Um, we believe this effort needs further support um, so that it can be extended either through the pathway to Tipana Road, the, the, the road behind it, or if this is not possible, to develop a loop with the Waipapa es Esplanade, because that's a piece at the moment which is not accessible. And then to, to the Tipuna Esplanade. This is a successful project, it's got the support of the community, and I think we should back winners. Hmm. Um, you had seven minutes now. And you're yeah. lucky the last one. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm, I'm <laughs> Almost good. The fourth point is the Tipana Esplanade itself, which is mentioned in the in the council's draft plan, but not the fact that it, it forms part of the path to New Chums Beach. And this is uh, yet thousands walk on this track every year. The clamber and scramble over the rocks and up the bank is part of the New Chums experience. Mm. And, and um, although when, the, when it's wet, part of the track becomes slippery and dangerous, particularly the muddy bank, which is on the TCDC land. The association does not want or expect a boardwalk. No. <laughs> All right? We don't, because we think a bit of a scramble's fun. Yeah. Um, but we think perhaps a set of steps and a handrail in one section is appropriate. We see that TCDC have a duty of care in this situation. You know, it's promoted on Lonely Planet and all these places that there's things to do in Coromandel, and yet after a rain, it's bloody dangerous. Sorry, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the track starts in New Charles and goes along the Tipano uh, Esplanade, crosses the Smiths. Family Trust and then on to Dock Land. The Smith family has approached us and would like to establish a community group with TCDC and Dock to give an oversight for the development of the track. And we think this approach has got some merit, but we see us as a minor player. Um, the Smith family have, uh, are, have, I understand, approached you guys, and that's, uh, but that's an approach we would encourage you to, to, to take up. And that's it, and I thank you for the extra three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Question. So we're thinking a bit of a scramble, but maybe with a handrail. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and look, there's just one one place which at the moment's got a bit of a rope and it's slippery and people scramble up. And there's also a, a tree which is quite difficult to climb over, which has <laughs> got a bit of a fall on one side. I mean, it doesn't worry me, and I'm 70, but, um, anyway. Okay. Any other questions, Donald? All good? 
We appreciate your critical comments that some of the things that we want to get done haven't been done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and hey, it's life's like that. Yeah. But project management is, uh, can be a bit of an issue. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that concludes. I understand all our submissions. Now, we had a lady that didn't put in and made noises. Where are we with that one? No, she has been told not to do it. Thank, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Drive safely. So at the moment, we have got to, we've got a suggested resolution that's received the hearing of submissions. Received the submissions made to the draft management plan, except the late submissions of Heritage New Zealand Ponga dated the 8th, 2020, and accepts the late submission of Mercury Bay Forest for Bird, and do we accept the additional information of Linda Bird to her submission, which we got tabled, and do we accept the additional page that um, Sue Eden has tabled? Is that what we do? So I think we just note that um, no, the we proceed that is tabled. Yes. The, um, note the other one. amendment to her submission, um, and we will just note that in Sue's okay. um, that she tabled. So we have the suggested resolutions. Thank you, Sally. I'll move it. Thank you, Martin. Is there any further comment on the suggested resolutions? If not, I'll put the vote. All those in favour, please say aye. No. Aye. The contrary, no. Meeting closed at 11.51. Beautiful. Well done. Well done.